Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Well, guys, I just wanted to read something from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth for you guys. Just a nice, light little reading. Um, you know, nothing to see here. For entertainment purposes only. Yeah, this is just entertainment purposes. And again, Thoth was thought to be an Atlantean and also the Egypt Egyptian god of wisdom and writing and knowledge. Yes, he was. And I really feel his essence and his energy to be very, very legitimate. Also equated with Hermes, Trismegistus, which, you know, Hermes, again, the messenger of the gods. The Roman Mercury would be the equivalent as well. And I've even seen people speak of Ganesha mm -hmm. as being another wisdom god, so to speak. Yeah, wisdom keeper, definitely. Well, this is from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Far in the past, before Atlantis existed, men there were who delved into darkness, using dark magic, calling up beings from the great depth below us. And, you know, again, that would be more interpreted as is vibrationally. That's my take on it. Would that be yours? I would be mine. Yep. Forth came they into this cycle. Formless were they of another vibration, existing unseen by the children of earthmen. Only through blood could they have formed being. Only through man could they live in the world. And again, this 3D world. In ages past, they were conquered by masters. And the masters, now that I would take as the ascended masters, or what we would say are the ascended masters. Yes, what we say are the ascended masters, definitely. In agreement there. And then uh, many say that those are the same as the Rishis, the seers that gave us uh, so many of the books uh, from the Indus Valley area. Yes, very invaluable information. As well as wisdom tradition handed down through the Western, Western mystery system. So in ages past, they were conquered by masters, driven below to a place whence they came. But... Some there were who remained, hidden in spaces and plains unknown to man. Lived they in Atlantis as shadows, but at times they appeared among men. Aye, when the blood was offered, for they came, they to dwell among men. In the form of man, they amongst us, but only to sight were they as our men. Serpent-headed when the glamour was lifted, but appearing to man as men among men, crept they into councils, taking forms that were like unto men, slaying by their arts the chiefs of the kingdoms, taking their form and ruling over man. Only by magic could they be discovered. Only by sound could their faces be seen. Very interesting, is this not? Yeah, it is. So it's, you know, kind of insinuating that certain vibrations help them hold a certain certain form together. Yes, and, and there is. You know, if you look into Celtic mythology, there is glamoury, and it's, you know, one of the abilities you could pick up to make things appear as if they're something other. Uh, simple glamoury of changing the color of the eyes. So somebody might look at you and think, oh, they have lovely brown eyes, but really their eyes are blue, or maybe they're green, or maybe they could change them at will. Yes, they can by changing their vibration. Sought they from the kingdom of shadows to destroy man and rule in his place. But know ye, the masters were mighty in magic, able to lift the veil, from the face of the serpent, able to send him back to his place, came they to man and taught him the secret, the word that only a man can pronounce. Swift then they lifted the veil from the serpent and cast him forth from the place among men. Yet beware, the serpent still liveth, in a place that is open at times to the world. Unseen, they walk among thee in places where the rites have been said. Hmm. Again, as time passes onward, shall they take the semblance of men? Interesting. You know, when you look at certain 
things and of course you know things may have potentially sensitive continents yes do you really want to view you know do you really want to well why wouldn't you or why would you follow the science and find the answers called may they be by the master who knows the white or the black but only the white master may control and bind them while well in the flesh. Seek not the kingdom of shadows, for evil will surely appear. For only the master of brightness shall conquer the shadow of fear. Know ye, O my brother, that fear is an obstacle great. Be master of all in the brightness, and shadow will soon disappear. Hear ye and heed my wisdom, the voice of light is clear. Seek not the valley of shadow, and light will only appear. List ye, O man, to the depths of my wisdom. Speak I of knowledge hidden from man. For I have been on my journey through space-time, even to the end of space of this cycle. I glimpse the hounds of the barrier lying in wait for he who would pass them. In that space where time exists not, faintly I sensed the guardians of the cycles. Move they only through angles, free are they not of the curved dimensions. I always find like the way the semblance of words and structured angles, angels. Very interesting, you know, why certain things would be sensitive. Strange and terrible are the hounds of the barrier. Follow they consciousness to limits of space. Think not to escape by entering your body. Or follow they fast the soul through angles. Only the circle will give ye protection. Save from the claws of the dwellers in angles. Once in a time past I approached the great barrier. Saw on the shores where time exists not. The formless forms of the hounds of the barrier. I, hiding in the mists be beyond time, I found them. And they, scenting me afar off, raised themselves and gave a great bell cry that could be heard from cycle to cycle and moved through space towards my soul. Fled I then fast before them, back from time's unthinkable end. But ever after me pursued they, moving in strange angles not known to men. I on the gray shores of time spaces, and found I the hounds of the barrier, ravening for the soul who attempts the beyond. Fled I through circles back to my body, fled and fast after they followed. I, after me, the devourers followed, seeking through angles to devour my soul. I know ye, man, that the soul who dares the barrier may be held in bondage by the hounds from beyond time, and held to this cycle is completed, and left behind when consciousness leaves. Enter I, my body, created the circles that are known or no, not angles, created the form that from my form was created, made my body into a circle, and lost my pursuers in the circle of time. But even yet, when freed from the body, cautious ever I must be not to move through angles, else my soul may never be free. Know ye the hounds of the barrier. Move only through angles and never through curves of space. Only by moving through curves can ye escape them. For in angles they will pursue thee. O man, heed ye my warning. Seek not to break open the gate to beyond. Few there are who have succeeded in passing the barrier to the greater light that shines beyond. For know ye ever the dwellers seek such souls to hold in their thrall. Very intense stuff. And, you know, just by looking at certain things, you can start to draw parallels about what's happening and what's being said here yes yes and as it says over here man is in the process of changing to forms that are not of this world grows he grows he is time to the formless a plane on the cycle above know ye ye must become formless before ye are with the light list list ye O man to my voice telling of the pathways to the light showing the way of attainment when ye shall be one with the light. So, you know, it's, it's talking about in the man's in the process of changing to the light body, you know, is what it's really talking about. And, you know, we are in that right now. And that's part of the mysteries of everything that is going on. And also, you know, this, this talks about being light born, a son of the light without form. So again, 
this is where we are heading. And it does speak about the dark powers, as we see, speak I of ancient Atlantis, speak of the days, the kingdom of shadows, speak of the coming of the children of the shadows, out of a great depth where they called by the wisdom of earthmen, calling for the purpose of gaining greater power. And, you know, that power and desire for dominion over others always, always, always corrupts. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, most definitely. Far in the past before Atlantis existed, men there were who delved into darkness using dark magic, calling up beings from the great deep below us. Forth they came into the cycle, formless were they of another vibration, existing unseen by the children of earth. Men only through blood could they have formed being, only through man could they live in the world. And it gets back into how they were, were conquered. And, you know, it, it talks about them, again, as the serpent-like ones. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And um, when you scroll it back there, crept they into councils um, is, is a really, really telling thing. But this thing is just loaded full of information about what's going on today and the information we have here. Yeah, and, and destroying man, ruling in his place, creeping into councils, overshadowing man. You know, this is the darkness that has been upon us. And, you know, it's it's really pretty pretty clear when you when you look at it. And one of the things that is is so interesting is talking about what happens as we are going to be right here, banishing the darkness and moving beyond. Really the key again is the sun is the key to us upgrading to us having our DNA that is quote-unquote junk DNA activated and rising up. Lift, thine, lift thou thine eyes to the cosmos, lift thou thine eyes to the light, speak in the words of the dweller, the, the chant that calls down the light, sing thou the song of freedom, sing thou the song of the soul, create the higher vibration, the high vibration that will make one with the whole, and, and this is it again, we're talking about the unity and the oneness. Blend all thyself with the cosmos, grow into one with the light, be thou a channel of order, a pathway to law of the world. Thy light, O man, is the great light, shining through the shadow of flesh. Free must thou rise from the darkness before thou art one with the light. And again, that light that lies within all of us is, is the light of source which lies within every single being and and that's to be cultivated and you know he goes back into the times that he has passed on it's 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 reminiscent really of you know krishna talking to arjuna and saying the difference between me and you is i i understand and remember my past lives and you just don't the veil of forgetfulness is upon you but i know that's right. So remembering who you are and where you're from becomes a very important thing to do these days. Yeah, and it gets into the cycles. Nine are the interlocked dimensions, and nine are the cycles of space. Nine are the diffusions of consciousness. Nine are the worlds within worlds. I Nine are the lords of the cycles that come from above and below. Space is filled with concealed ones, for space is divided by time. Seek ye the key, the time-space, that ye shall unlock the gate. Know ye that through the time-space consciousness surely exists. Through, from our knowledge it is hidden, though from our knowledge it is hidden to the masses, yet it still forever exists. Right, so remembering who you are going back to your original form. Most definitely, and it's interesting that what he talks about is as as we come into this time now when all is going to be revealed he basically says that these beings that have overshadowed man that have actually ruled in the place of man they are going to have a hard time holding that illusion they're going to have a hard time holding the glamour Yes, because, you know, when you look at, um, the, I think it's called chimetics, right? You know, when you have a vibration and it takes a certain form, that ability to hold the same vibration isn't going to be so easy coming up. No. And so, you know, this is the reference to the serpent. And there's references, obviously, to the serpent in so many different cultures, biblical as well. 
but they will have a hard time holding their magic, their glamour, their illusion, and we will see them for what they truly, truly are. And this is part of what's going on right now, this great process of what's going on. And, you know, it's it's fascinating to even consider, you know, who is really in these great positions of power. Mm-hmm. It really is. I mean, take a look and, you know, ask yourself who is in power exactly you know because this this dark force that has been upon this planet for so long is being exposed and that's the bottom line they are holding on and we were, we had a session with one of our dear sisters susan and talking about the battle is already won but you know still uh, there are skirmishes going on, and there's still much to, to do, but it's inevitable. Oh, it's definitely inevitable. We just need to be patient and do our best to allow things to fall into place where they need to fall into place. Because they're not able to hold their form anymore. They're not able to maintain the illusion that has been upon us. It, it's all being revealed. This is, after all. You know, the great apocalypse when everything will be revealed. And as uh, my old friend there, Rowdy Roddy Piper, uh, had said, you know, to me back in the Hard Rock Cafe so many years ago, he said, hey, I just did a movie. And, you know, you're going to think it's crazy, but the movie is real. Mm -hmm. And I saw that movie and it's definitely real. Yeah, it was. He was totally convinced. And he was a good guy. So, as always, guys, thanks for being part of the family. Make sure you are subscribed. Thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. If you need to make an appointment, reach out to us at evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail or eearts at protonmail.com. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep drawing the love and the light into your heart and emanating it out all over the globe. And Sim, would you do? can you do a, a quick bop to clear the energies? God bless and namaste. God bless and namaste.